everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Reviewcade. My name is Andrew. And I'm Nick, and Andrew's playing again, everybody. Yes. I want things that go boom. Um, mm. I'll say buy a health infusion. How much money do I have? I have uh, 1140. 11 I would say buy a health infusion because it's cheap. What are some What are some items you think are like in games you you have found to be like really really helpful? Like you're playing Destiny, you're playing some game, you just you like oh, there's one thing you have to stock up on. Like outside of health, um, I mean grenades, uh, things of of explosive uh, natures. Yeah. Um. Uh, for where am I going here? Uh. For me, because I I just finished playing Spider-Man Miles Morales, it was, uh, I found myself really spending a lot of time trying to just do suit upgrades. Mm. Like, because in the game, you can upgrade your suit in two ways. You can do, um, you can upgrade, like, your mask, or you can upgrade your actual suit itself. And a lot of time, like, I've unlocked, like, pretty much all the suit upgrades. <laughs> Not except for the mask stuff, but, like, because a lot of it's, like, um, when you punch an enemy, you gain some of your venom power, so you can electrify enemies quicker and faster and stuff mm. like that. And um, you know, I never really used. The thing is, like, even when I play like Spider Man or just some game where there's like, you know, Ghost of Tsushima, where there's a lot of like different weapons you can use. Like Spider Man, you can use. You can actually like shoot drones and have drones help you fight people. In Ghost of Tsushima, you can have like throw wind chimes to. Um, distract enemies. I find myself like never really using those things. Mm. I'm just I literally just go and I just button mash and brawl. I just, like I, I'm a very simple player. I think a lot of it is because of the fact of having one arm and just being like, okay, I can't. I I, I don't have time to aim and properly throw these things. So I just need to be on the attack and just whenever somebody's about to sw swing at me or my spidey sense goes up. I need to hit the dodge button as fast as I can and focus on those things. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's 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 it can be kind of a detriment because it's like I would love to use be more strategy and stuff like that and use certain types of weapons, but at the same time I'm kind of like ah I'm a I'm gonna try to be stealthy, but if I gotta go in guns blazing or my sword out and just ready to fight someone, I'm no problem doing that. Mm. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, that, that's, that's kind of the way I've been playing. Like, even, like, with Batman, uh, the Arkham games, I would always never really used, unless I had to, unless it was, like, I had to break down a wall or something, never really used any of the specialty weapons or anything like that. I always just used um, my fighting styles or a battering to throw at someone just to uh, get them off my trail for a little bit. It's going to be a little bit of a breathing room. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for, for, for that. I mean, do you ever find yourself having to um, adjust your your playstyle? Not based on game, but maybe just based on like how like maybe your preferences. Like do you ever find yourself like where you see where like maybe you play a certain way, but because of the game it might not be as good to play that way, so you have to change things up a bit? Um not I mean I, I tend to have a my my uh, general um, thought process with regards to, uh, um, like, playing games is trying to outsmart the AI. Right. And have them, like, waste as many resources as they possibly can, and then just, like, disorient, or... I'm, I'm very much somebody who likes to play, uh, sniper characters, or, or mm -hmm. like, things from range. Um, generally not somebody who likes to get close up in the fight. Get out of here, lady. Um... <laughs> Uh, uh, so generally speaking, I like to, I, I'm more of the out smart out position. Um, I like the things that allow me to have like a slight advantage, um, over my, over my enemies. Um, mm -hmm. I think that that's always like such a great, uh, hello. Um, yep, I need my sensitivity up a little bit more here. Uh, I will do that here in a second. Um, oh, damn it. Forgot it's B to mm -hmm. to rush. Did you do the rush thing? I think so. Oh no, it's LB. It LB. I think it's one of the. the... Huh. 
What happened to the assault rifle that we had? I don't know. I don't... Because we have ammo for it, so yeah. I don't know... And I don't know why I didn't get rid of it. At least I don't think I did. I have no idea. Can you only carry two guns at a time? Is like... Like when we picked up the shotgun, there was it like, okay, you're done with the assault rifle now, or what's going on? No, it's it seems like things are, like I'm fine running a shotgun, but a pistol is not optimal in this in this area. No, to be honest, the shotgun's nice, but like it has a lot of like high, it's of course high impact weapon, but yeah, like a pistol, like just not, not ideal. But I, I look at this man, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's like, it's, I, I, <laughs> I, I, like, I know we don't play this game a lot, except when we're really recording, but, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's like, I still find myself having to get used to the controls. Mm. Like, even though I've played, you know, on average, you know, say 20 minutes an episode, it's about an hour's worth of, of play time. Mm. Like, I still find myself having to, like, not be able to remember the, the controls for this, for this game. And part of it could be on me, but, like, it's just, also just, again, I think it's because I'm not used to playing Rage to where it's like, oh, dashing and stuff. Also, I, part of me kind of feels there's a lot of stuff in this game. Like, a lot of, like movement stuff so I think it feels like it feels like I could be wrong but it, it just feels like just to me that there's a lot of um, things to keep track of like crafting and mm -hmm. all these things and and um, you know the things you can trade in all those little menus and stuff like that it feels like it, it's a bit too much um, of, a, of a UI of a, of a, of a, a menu where I, w I think it could benefit from maybe being a little bit simpler Mm. Um, but again, it could be different if, you know, we were playing, like, every day, you know, like... Yeah, like, oh, man, I finally got that resource I was looking yeah. for. Yeah. Um, because I am trying to steal everything these, uh, little bastards have. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I Junk. want all the... Okay, there's gotta be something in my inventory, because I want that, that... We had that, we had an amazing assault rifle, like... Yeah. Come on! Uh, please, I'm I'm frozen on the menu as as, as per always. Usual. And as and it, it, yes, it it goes back to the idea of like yeah, you probably should have a little bit easier, uh, a little bit more reasonable menu mm -hmm. um, instead of this these massive. There's just there there is a lot. I will yeah. definitely agree that there is a lot of uh, unnecessary, and but. It's it's very interesting that this that this game is not able to manage its its um, menus efficiently when something like Destiny has I wouldn't say as complex of a menu like yeah. as large of a menu but still is able to like quickly load its menus very fair it's just easy yeah. to load your menus. well because part um, of it's also like when you're going in between like uh, inventory to weapons and it just takes you know ten seconds or really that for the load part of you is thinking like. Oh my God! Did the game freeze on me again? Because again, you're thinking, um, you know, oh my God! Is the, you know, the game froze on us, the, you know, last episode, and it's just like, did it freeze again? Did it, is it is it trying to load? Is it like when you're when you're um, trying to, um, you know, to show you that little like flash, like purple, if you will, like kind of like when you're you're playing God of War, for example, and you're walking through and you have to, like, crawl through areas, and it's a lot of it is because it's basically a moving loading screen because the other part of the map of the world still has to, like, load and stuff mm. like that. Um, so it could be one of those things. I, I don't know. But again, there's, a, there's these, like, negative things that you kind of think of when you're going through the menu. And I'm just thinking, like, man, if there's somebody who's got this ability and they're trying to go through that map and you have to, like, press hard enough to, like, swap things over or weight and stuff like that it, it could be a pain in the ass like, it could be a real pain in the ass I I be, like genuinely believe that this this hold to enter is not as no. optimal as it could be no uh, that's that's one of my one it's a small thing but it's it's it for the sake of accessibility and just general expediency if I want to enter into uh a a vehicle yeah and i should be able to just press x get in the vehicle done we're good we're good to go um 
one thing I do appreciate, though, is that when I track a mission, is that the, uh, the little, like, purple... What? what? Use YL to dodge attacks and ram... LB to fire, or R, LB to fire, and R to switch between weapons. Alright. So you're saying... Uh, um, so you see, like, the little purple markers? Yeah. So it kind of... It's kind of like in GTA a bit when you get... When you have, like, a waypoint kind of thing. So you know... So you don't have to, like, look at... Well, because this map is expansive. Well, yeah, but, like, it's, I, it's, that way you don't have to, like, look at the uh, the Legion, if you were, or whatever. The, the map, like, a little... You know, like a GTA they have a little circle map where you, mm -hmm. you know, where they have stuff like this. I believe in, in GTA Five, I believe they had something like that, where you can just look up, and or and I believe Mafia. I think Mafia had it too, um, but uh, Mafia Three, I should say, where whoa! whoa, instead of looking at like the little circle map in the bottom of the screen, it would have like an arrow or some sort of waypoint you can just look on the screen. So we can like pay attention to the world, to the world itself, what's going on in it. Now we're not just staring down at the map, and that's that isn't mm -hmm. that appreciated. But going back to your thing, where going, you know, entering vehicles, climbing ladders, those things should, you know, they're not. So they should be automatic. They're, they're, they should be automatic, or you tap X mm -hmm. to, you know, not to, not to climb the ladder, but like you tap because X should, to get into the, because, into the vehicle. I, 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 I clearly want to do the action. I shouldn't have to hold a button to get well, the action. Well, I'm just to thinking place. too that these aren't quick time events. No. You know, if it was a quick time event, it would be yes. Yeah, so the difference between tapping, having to tap rapidly again. Somebody with cerebral palsy having to tap rapidly um, can not be a, it can not be a good thing. It can be a very uncomfortable, painful thing. Um, but people, but but if you give them the option to hold down the button for a QTE or skip to QTE overall, then yeah, that's 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 great. But when you're entering a a vehicle, you shouldn't have to to hold down a button, especially if you're getting shot at in this game, where of course you know it's FPS, it's a shooting game. People coming after you, you know, the amount of again, the amount of health you're taking, you're losing because you have to hold X. Granted, if it's not that long, maybe from a half second to a second, but it's still a half second to a second's worth of damage that you're taking because you have to hold the X button down. And in some cases, you might have to like be over the thing perfectly in order for it to either be get picked up or to enter it. So it could be a kind of a pain in the ass. And I hate yeah. those types of games where like you have to like be directly over something. You can't be a little offset to the left or the right or behind it to pick it up, to open something, to enter something. You can't be like right on top of it, and that uh, that that's too much precision. That's that's too that, that's too that that's something that can be de very detrimental um, to someone playing the game. Money. Ooh. Whoa. Tokens. Hey. Tokens. <laughs> Making it hail. I actually, I actually had a, 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 a friend when I was in high school. Um, he had gone to a strip club, and he had, like, I had to convince him to not bring a roll of quarters to the strip club to make it hail. What? Yeah. Who? Yeah. No. <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah. Wouldn't it be great? If just like somebody just went to the strip club and like just took quarters and just. Threw them up in the air. I'm like, no, because no. it's metal. It's it's you metal. Hurt and the dancers, you're, man. They're, they're, you're gonna get kicked out, and you're not gonna just get like kicked out. You're gonna get violently removed. Yeah. Um, I've never been to a strip club, but even I know it's it, it's not a good idea to bring fucking quarters to. No. A strip club. Now, mind you, the person <laughs> didn't do that, and Please. also the person who said that they were thinking about it was also like they had just turned eighteen. Oh lord. So. But that's like. Yeah. Watch the movies, then! Yeah! <laughs> like, there, there's a reason that they throw money! <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> okay, uh, how am I supposed to get into this? Do I just go through the front door like I like a real yep. boy? Um, oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, hey. Well, hey. this is, uh, oh. Quite an interesting pleasure palace. Um, you wake up and the person is just wearing those ma one of those masks. Oh, I'm very confused and aroused. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, you stranger. Have you come to join us? Say it so. Say. 
wandered here from off the dark. God, those masks are just horrifying. Oh, oh! I, I, I was just going here to kill mutants. I'm not here to have sexy times. Is it times just me, or does her hair look a bit plasticky? She just got a lot of hairspray in there, man. She's yeah. gotta keep the look. I mean, it, it, child of the '80s, I guess, or someone who lived through the '80s, the Aquanet age. I'm not gonna lie, that is a nice boa. Oh God! Whoa! Whoa! What a year! <laughs> That's the uh, the 1988 vintage. It's a solid vintage. <laughs> yes, I am here to kill, not to bang. You heard the promise of great. Meanwhile, Hannibal Lecter is the bartender. I'm not handsome. I'm pretty because I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think this is a contract to fight. Hell yeah. <laughs> and now, I'm not gonna lie, I, I always found those, like, you know, like when you're watching an older movie, which takes place probably in the, like, 1940s or 20s, and people have, like, the, the long cigarette, like, the women had like, the long cigarette extender thing that, like, it was kind of, that like, they put in their mouth. That was, like, very fucking classy. That's, like, a steak... Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, it's a, barbe <laughs> it's, it's a barbecue fork. I'm like, uh, honey, it's a, it's, it's that's not what you think it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a barbecue fork, but, um, you know, hey, when you're in the wasteland, you gotta make the best of what you got. But, no, I always I always found when I watch, like, old movies, and, like, you have or movies that are set in, like, older times, and you have, like, women smoking cigarettes, um, of, like, the long, like, you know, black kind of, like, it was like, it was like a pipe, but just, like, cigarettes... Um, I don't know the exact Rack term. Ham man quam. Um, but those were always, I felt those were always, like, elegant to me. Creepy ass names. Here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, hey, look hey. At the guy, look at the guy, hey, look at the guy. hey. The guy, so that guy was, like, curling the weights. He wasn't even going all the way up. He was doing, like, little, like, one, two, three, four, five, like, little pumps. Gulcho smeghorn. It's vul Nail grease. It's, uh, it's, you know what that reminds me? Face of? ache. The guy that... Say, look, he's not even going up all the way. What he's got we... robo arms. Yeah, Why is he even arms. lifting? You've got robo arms, bud. Uh, all right. Um, um let's see. Who who else? Wait, wait. Go back here? to the guy crawling on the floor. Nasher of teeth. De dread hole. Go go back to the guy crawling on the floor. That's Volvo or Voldo from Soul Calibur of the early years. I mean, this is more like uh, Channing Tatum in This Is the End. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! Oh, okay! Oh, he's got, he's okay. got a uh, butt plug. Um, <laughs> okay. Moon dust. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. TV Arena. I might, I, might, I might have to, uh, to censor that. <laughs> I don't know if you can show butt plugs on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's Time. Yay! Go towards the light. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm so pretty. Give me your mutants. Hmm. Um. Okay. I mean, I definitely hit them in the head. There we go. I wonder how many rounds or people you have to fight. Oh, it's time? So you have to kill so many people in a certain time, I guess? Or I say uh, mutants, you have to kill so many mutants in a certain amount of time. I just feel like this is- oh! Oh! I just feel like this is something that um, Immortan Joe would like be watching. Mm -hmm. Like just like he would have like his own little like viewing chamber, basically like above the ring. Oh Jesus! Get me out of the corner, please. Give me your coins! Oh, 
Uh, so what do you think of this fight I, so far? I, I, I am... I mean, you are owning them. Real. I'm not gonna lie. You're, 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 yes. Yeah, times eight multiplayer. Multiplayer too. How many bullets do I need to throw into this dude? There we go. Well, the thing with the uh, the, assault, the assault rifle is doesn't do that much damage. Ah, uh, so I have to close these vents. Okay. It's like whack-a-mole. Just yeah. explosive. Yay! Arena one out of four complete. Did it save? I think you can manually ooh, save it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Give me all that ammo, that juicy, juicy ammo. Mm -hmm. All the ammos I could ask for. I think uh, this is a good place to uh, stop. You had, I, th I think you've had a good amount of carnage for today. Mm -hmm. um, but that's going to do it for this episode of Review Cade. As always, subscribe to us. And uh, yeah, we're at Facebook on Facebook.com slash Review Cade. We're also at Review Cade on Twitter and on Instagram. And as always... Be sure to share our stuff, be sure to like and subscribe, because when you do so, you're helping us spread our message, our quest, if you will, to help spread accessibility across all platforms, across all games, showing people how games can be accessible and how everybody can play them. And as always, thank you so much, everybody, for watching, and we will see you all on Wednesday.